Get ready. Who's ready to be disappointed? I sure am. Let's open this up. <laughs> so this is uh, the very accurately named Star Wars The Black Series Clone Commander Jesse. He was not a clone commander. Uh, <laughs> that's just one of the inaccuracies. Uh, so the main thing with me when it comes to toys, I don't mind an inaccuracy here and there because they're toys, you know. I'm not stressing about, like, oh my gosh, this this line isn't perfectly parallel to this line, even though in the show, blah, blah, blah. It's, you know, sometimes things are missed. Sometimes things aren't accurate. It's, it is what it is. However, in a case like this, this is sheer laziness. This is a case of sheer, absolute undeniable laziness on Hasbro's part. Uh, and I'm very disappointed in this release, and I haven't even opened it yet. Uh, but let's just get into it. Uh, let's seal this back up. I'm not going to keep the box, because, oh, wow, it's plastic-free packaging. Thank goodness they're getting rid of this. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, Clone Jesse. Look, they drew it half accurate on the box, but they still gave him the antenna. Uh, <laughs> so... Uh, let's see if the description has anything inaccurate. Hard-fighting patriot Jesse proudly wears the cog-shaped symbol of the Galactic Republic on his helmet. But after the execution of Order 66, De Jesse displays blind loyalty to the Emperor. Uh, at least that's accurate. Uh, yeah, let's let's see let's see what this figure has going on. So he has this weird bag. I've never seen a bag like this before for one of these plastic-free things. And I think the only thing they put in it are the pistols. I don't even think they included any of the rifles with this guy. And they've done that for other releases of this mold. So let's get him out of this tissue paper. Ugh. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, oh, okay. So they didn't fully paint the visor on mine. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know if you noticed the inaccuracy going on. That is the wrong helmet. That is absolutely 1,000% the wrong helmet. He's not supposed to have the antenna. He's not supposed to have the fin. Look at that bend in the fin. Look at that. It's like misshapen. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Is my echo like that? My echo's right here. I can reach him. My echo's not that and my echo's not like that. Oh my gosh. That's just malformed. Okay. <laughs> so we'll do comparison for echo too, but there's not a lot of guys to really compare this with. Uh yeah, it's it's Jesse. It's the same old we've seen, but they got the helmet wrong. And you may be thinking, oh, but they got the helmet wrong with the Vintage Collection one, JC224. Why is this Why is this a problem that the Black Series one's inaccurate, too? Because they should have known better. Because this thing is has come out, like, what, two, maybe three years after the Vintage Collection one? And everybody said, it has the wrong helmet. Fix the helmet. Fix the helmet. And they've, they have shown that they can give this mold alternate helmets. They did with Fordo. Fordo has a different helmet. But no, sheer laziness. They did not give him the proper Phase 2 helmet. And the Phase 2 helmet exists. I thought the whole reason that all of these figures have that, you know, glued-on helmet with, like, a blank head was so you could easily switch helmets between figures if need be. Like, this guy needs a Phase 2 antenna-less helmet. But no, they horribly messed it up. And zooming in, zooming in on this helmet, I don't even think they painted it good. Uh, something about it. It's like it doesn't it doesn't look as good as what you see on the box, at least not to me. The proportions aren't as good. The the blue striping isn't as thick as I feel like it needs to be. Uh, it's it's just, man, it's such a letdown. Uh, it's such a letdown that this is what they did for Jesse. And I love Arc Trooper Jesse. The Hot Toys Jesse, at least Hot Toys did it right. I did a YouTube Shorts like making fun of Hasbro for them having the antenna by putting Captain Rex's antenna on the Hot Toys Jesse. But yeah, this guy, they also cut him back by only giving him the pistols as well, which is great, fantastic. Uh, but still, you know, the pistols, they do still fit in his hand. He still can hold the little DC-17s. And to be fair, that's pretty much the main thing he used in the ARC Trooper armor. You know, he had the DC-17s. He was pointing at Rex and Ahsoka. You know, you have Uno! I got to, I got to. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the rest of the armor looks decent. I'm not really seeing anything too inaccurate with the rest of the armor. It's just that helmet, man. It's just that helmet. We have already seen this mold about, I think this is the fourth time. So... The articulation is what we have come to know. 
has the nice shoulders, has the nice elbows. The articulation's not bad. The hips, as always, again, are limited because of the, the big plastic skirting, but still, with all the detail and everything on the skirt, I can understand why it's molded plastic. Uh, it's just, you know, I think that helmet is the biggest thing that lets this guy down. I think it's that helmet. However, the helmet is removable. We can remove the helmet, and we can see. Let's see if this head looks any good. Let's see. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Yeah. At least that looks pretty good. I've been noticing Hasbro's been slacking a bit on the eye paint, and I think this guy's no exception. I, I feel like the printing, it's not looking as good as it used to. I mean, he does have the big tattoo, which is nice, but he has that very glossy face going on. I want to compare this head to Echo. Let's see how Echo looks. I do not have uh, fives yet. But, yeah, looking at that, that you can see that's a bit of a downgrade. Those eyes, they look more wide. They look more weird. They both are pretty glossy, I'm not going to lie, but I think this one's a little bit more glossy. So, yeah, this raises a question. Uh, Jesse has a new... Jesse has a new head. Why couldn't they give him a new helmet? <laughs> you know, because I think this is a new head for Black Series Clone Troopers. I don't think they've done a bald character yet. Uh, I don't think this this is not a reuse of the Captain Rex head, I'm pretty sure. I think this is a brand new head, and they still managed to uh, not give him a new helmet. Uh, so that's fantastic. <laughs> uh, will I display him with the helmet on? Uh, probably, because I display all my Black Series clones with the helmet on, because most of them don't have removable helmets. This guy's just a letdown overall. Uh, it's something where I really hope that we do see a running change, or even, dare I say, an AliExpress bootleg. Speaking of that, we do actually have an AliExpress bootleg of Jesse. This is pre-Arc Trooper Jesse in his uh, Umbara outfit. Unfortunately, you cannot do a head swap on these because this helmet is different from his Arc Trooper helmet. He added a lot more blue to the back of the helmet in his Arc Trooper outfit. So you can't just do a head swap with this. Oh, wow, it's an accurate Jesse. But I kind of want to see how it sort of looks. So let's see if I can get this head off. There we go. And I want to see how it would sort of look if he had a proper helmet. So Hasbro could have done this. They could have given him this Phase 2 helmet. They could have. I can absolutely guarantee you they could have. Even the, considering the fact that this is a Walmart exclusive that has that, you know, nice little few dollar upcharge just because, you know, screw you. Uh, they could have done it. They absolutely could have. However, this is just sheer laziness. I believe that the ARC Trooper Jessies are among some of the worst uh, Black Series, or just the worst Clone Trooper releases, I should say. The Vintage Collection one and this Black Series one are among some of the worst Clone Trooper releases that Hasbro has ever done, solely based on the sheer laziness and inaccuracy of the helmet. With the Vintage Collection Jesse, a part of me could forgive it because it was a part of a multi-pack where every character had the same helmet, and I feel like it might have just been a part of the mold. However, this mold was made... The, the entire purpose of all these clones having removable helmets and having the heads on the inside was so the helmets could be swapped if need be. And they made an entirely new helmet for Fordo, for the Walmart exclusive Fordo, but they couldn't for Jesse. They couldn't. I wonder if the helmet or the antenna can be removed so we can at least make him a little bit more accurate. I did actually get a second uh, Vintage Collection Jesse. Yeah, you can. You can remove this. I think I'll at least have this removed so it looks a little better. Uh, because <laughs> see, look, it looks looks a little better without it, huh? You know, they could have even just left this off. I think people would have been at least a little okay with the fact that he doesn't have this, but you can remove it. It's it's not that big of a deal, but he still has the horribly inaccurate fin, and of course mine is, like, tilted up, so it looks even worse. But yeah, it's, it's such a disappointment. It's still a good action figure, but there is not a good track record with the uses of this mold so far. Jesse, wrong helmet. Fordo, they didn't put the ammo pouch on the right side, and it was just a pretty lazy reuse overall. Uh, Echo's really good. The Umber Operative's, Operative's really good. I wouldn't mind seeing this mold as Colt and Havoc and Blitz in the Black Series, but this Jesse's just a letdown for me. I'm sorry, it is. I would love to see Hasbro improve on this. But unfortunately, Hasbro's track record is not very good with, you know, being consistent with quality in Black Series. And that's a shame, because Black Series, in my opinion, was founded on the idea of giving you a premium product. 
Uh, Black Series, when it started, it was touted as being a premium six-inch action figure line to give you the definitive versions of the characters. And the fact that the Black Series has gone to a level of, you know, mass production and laziness, where the best that they can do is just, you know, a helmet reuse that's entirely inaccurate... It's a shame. It's a shame. And I'm sorry that this is the main point of this video. But I want this to be driven home because this is sheer laziness that I don't want to accept. I Yes, I still bought this Jesse. I did. Because I love clone troopers. I love, I love the franchise. I, I really still wanted this. And I feel like that's probably why they did it. Because they knew people would still buy it. They knew people would still buy it. And they're like, hey, you know, we could take this extra money to, you know, reallocate this helmet sculpt and put the helmet on this ARC Trooper. But they're like, people will buy it anyway. Don't even worry about it. And it's a shame. It's a shame that Hasbro has this mindset. It's a shame that they accept this level of laziness, accept this level of sheer horrible reuse. It's unfortunate. It really is. Uh, do I recommend this figure? If you really need Jesse, if you really need ARC Trooper Jesse, sure, sure. Take the, take the antenna off at least. Make him look and feel a little bit more faithful. Sure. But for me, if you're someone that really, really just loves clone troopers, and but but you're not worried about having every single character, get Fives and Echo. I know they're a little bit more expensive. I know they're difficult to get, but I would just get Fives and Echo. It, they're accurate. They're faithful. They have the proper helmets. Now, granted, they're just, you know, in the... Uh, Citadel arc look, you know, you can't really use fives for Umbara because it's the wrong helmet, but still it's something it's, it's, it's accurate. It's just a shame that Hasbro could have made this better and they didn't. I've rambled on long enough. That is my thoughts and feelings on black series, arc trooper, Jesse, excuse me, black series, clone commander, Jesse. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Am I making too big of a deal out of it? Is it inexcusable like I think it is? Let me know. Let me know what you think. And also, are you going to get it? Or can you look past the inaccuracy to get it? Because my brother actually couldn't. My brother pre-ordered this, and he gave it some thought, and he was like, no. If I have Arc Trooper Jesse, I don't want it inaccurate. And he actually, he's, he's not... He's not going to get it. So yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, special shout out to channel members as always. Thank you all so much for the continued support. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, uh, you have Uno. You have Uno.